Ngayon mag-graph naman tayo ng mga exponential functions at sa pag-graph ng exponential functions, meron tayong mga translations na tinatawag sa regular graph na y equals a to the x. Ang function niya would be an increasing graph na meron siyang point of intersection sa 0 and 1. So, ito yung graph ng mga exponential function given by y equals a to the x. Ang uh, graph naman ng y equals a to the negative x would be the same graph pero yung translation niya ay negative. So, instead of increasing, magiging decreasing siya. So, basically, reflection siya ng a to the x doon sa y axis. And another way of representing y equals a to the x would be y equals a fraction, let's say 1 over a to the x. So, parehas lang siya ng behavior ng graph ng inyong function. At yung uh, point intercept or yung intersection ng uh, graph ng exponential function along the y-axis would change kapag naman meron tayong constant c doon sa ating function na a to the x. So, kapag meron tayong constant na namumultiply sa a to the x, yung function niya would be 0 and C and then it will be an increasing graph similar to this one. So ito yung mga behavior ng exponential function na kailangan yung tandaan para mag-graph tayo ng ilan sa mga exponential functions dito sa examples natin today. So for the first problem, we have y equals 1 half times 5 to the x which means meron tayong constant na factor, which is 1 half. So, ibig sabihin yung ating y-intercept would be at 0 and 1 half. So, ito yung ating 0 at yung 1 half would be somewhere here. At yung graph ng uh, 1 half, 5 to the x, would be an increasing graph dahil whole number yung ating uh, value ng a raised to the x power. So, ito yung ating graph ng exponential function ng y equals 1 half times 5 to the x. Now, yung kaibahan naman niya, dito sa problem number 2, we have 1 third times 2 to the x. Yung ating y-intercept, mas mababa siya dun sa nauna. So, ito yung 1 half. So, yung 1 third would probably somewhere here, close to 0. Pero yung behavior ng graph natin would be the same. It's still going to be opening in an increasing manner wherein yung domain niya would be all real numbers at yung graph natin would be increasing. Now, yung problem number 3 would be different kasi yung ating value ng a ay fraction form or 1 over a instead of a whole number. So, alam natin na yung ating y-intercept would be at 5. So, we have 5 somewhere here. At yung behavior ng graph natin would be decreasing. So, instead of yung behavior niya would be similar to this one. Magiging iba na siya. So, decreasing na siya from here. So, it has a decreasing graph looking like this with a y-intercept at 0 and 5. So, yan yung uh, translation ng ating tatlong graph. At yung translation naman ng ating bottom graph, meron tayong y equals 5 times 1 third to the x. So, ang kailangan lang natin dito is i-graph yung y-intercept which is a 0 and 5. 0, 5, somewhere here. At since meron tayong fractions, um, yung value ng a natin ay in fraction form which is 1 over 3, it will be um, a decreasing graph from left going to the right. So, ito ngayon yung behavior ng ating exponential function na 5 times 1 third to the x power. Now, yung problem number 5, mapapansin nyo meron tayo ditong constant na negative 2. So, ibig sabihin yung translation na yan, yung translation yan would be from the y-intercept, bababa tayo ng 2 units going down. So, yung um, y-intercept natin at 4. So, dito dapat yung ating y-intercept ng ating exponential functions. But since meron tayong negative 2, it will go down 2 units along the y-axis. So, yung ating bagong y-intercept would be at 0, 2. At since ang ating um, value ng a ay whole number, increasing yung graph natin. So, yung function ng ating graph would be... 
similar to this one. So ito yung graph ng y equals 4 times 2 to the x minus 2. At yung graph naman ng number 6, yung graph niya would be decreasing dahil 1 half yung value ng a. Yung y intercept niya would be at positive 3, which is, this is our y at um, 0, 2, 3. But since meron tayong positive 2, na constant, mag tayo ng 2 units going up to the y-axis. So, meron tayong 1, 2. So, yung ating y-intercept would be at 0 and 5. At since yung ating uh, um, behavior ng ating function ay negative, I mean, uh, fraction, so decreasing yung uh, itsura ng graph natin. So, ito yung magiging graph ng ating exponential function. So, ganyan yung pag-graph ng uh, mga exponential function using uh, different translations ng mga graph. At kung may natutunan kayo sa video na ito, please like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.